Hi, welcome to my studio in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. We're located in a little valley uh, where I live in an old log cabin uh, with my husband and two little dachshunds or wiener dogs as they are called here. And I really am a very long way away from home. But having some of my work in the Maitland Regional Art Gallery collection and the exhibition Guns to Roses, it really means so much to me because it's like I've got a little bit of myself at home back in Australia. The work in the exhibition uh, shows two of my pieces that were part of a series entitled 108 Everything, Nothing, Infinity, and it was produced in 2014. The work consisted of a series of mandalas and a video animation. Um, the process of actually making mandalas is to bring in a piece, uh, to bring balance, and it's a form of meditation. I created the mandalas from uh, landscapes here in America and it documented the four seasons. Each of the three different landscapes that I used had a firearm coupled with them. And that's a significant difference between Australia and the US. And that's the mainstream opinion about guns. I used to say that my work was really an act of signification and by that I mean trying to make sense of the world in which we live. But in reality there are some things that don't really make any sense at all. Uh, for example the gun violence in America uh, that affected me on a personal level when I was a professor at Virginia Tech. Um, now I'm working as a full-time artist and over the past few years I've had the opportunity to reflect upon technology um, because technologies are more than just tools. They actually affect who we are and change the way we think and change the relationships we have with other people. I also see myself as an advocate for diversity and difference and inclusion, and I want my work to acknowledge the historically unpaid and undervalued women of labour. Hence, I've turned my attention now to creating machine embroideries, as well as continuing my work on video animation. Um, my first solo show in New York at Air Gallery um, was in uh, 2019, and it documents and deconstructs the development of computer chips and circuits and motherboards. Now, the strategy of using stitching and beading to trace computer development so like serves as a way to highlight uh, women's contribution to the development of technology. And it traces a course uh, from the history of technology to a present state of ubiquitous use of technology. And it also questions whose data is really going to be preserved and valued and, and whose labour is going to be valued as we move from the digital age into the age of artificial intelligence. In 2017, I began to investigate hygiene and infection via embroidery. 
The project used creative technologies as a way of production and as a way to disseminate information on the public of the spread of disease. Now, it was shown in New York in early 2019, and the main message was to please wash your hands. And I wonder if that was a bit, a bit uh, of uh, looking into the future. But I really do believe that the creation of artwork and the viewing of artwork makes a significant contribution to our health and well-being. In this time of social distancing and isolation, I submerge myself in the making of art and, and reflecting, observing, and accepting. I continue to create mandala meditations and to watch the landscape change. They do say that to create a mandala is to stabilize, integrate, and reorder inner life. I'm interested in the effect of technology on our bodies and minds and the possibilities of arriving at a true consciousness via making.